Today in your Creative Warehouse, I'm going to be showing you how to create the Thanos Disintegration Effect. How about that? Let me share a story with you guys. I had a dream, and in that dream, Thanos of the Avengers was destroying the whole Earth. And guess what? People were disintegrating. Like, it was the scariest moment of my life. I was just running endlessly. And all of a sudden, I woke up. Whoa! Realizing that was a dream made me so excited. Like, I escaped being disintegrated. And I was worshipping God like... What's happening to me? I don't feel good. Well, I'm back, finally. All right, without wasting your time, let's go directly into how we created that effect. So the first thing you want to do is shoot yourself against the green screen and make sure the green screen is well lit. When you're done performing, take out the green screen and shoot the empty background. So whatever background you want to use, just take a shot of it. Whilst doing that, make sure you do not touch your camera. Your camera has to be on tripod all this while. So when you're shooting the green screen and when you're shooting the background, your camera has to be on tripod and untouched. Please bear this in mind. And that's basically it. The next thing you want to do is bring the two shots into After Effects for some magic. So if you're liking this video already, please do so literally. Just click on the like icon and also smash the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed with us already. So in After Effects, you bring the two shots, place your empty shot on the bottom and the green screen shot on top. And you get your pen tool and just mask around the side inside the green screen. So go to Effect, get your key light effect and key out the green screen. So when you key it out, it makes sure your background and your talent is on a separate layer. That was the essence of using a green screen. So go ahead and duplicate the shot of the talent. So with this duplication, you get a fractal noise from the effect. Change the brightness and the contrast so that you can get a nice effect. The next thing is add a tint effect. Change it to brown and then add a linear wipe to help reveal the layer. So start by animating the transition to completion. And this is going to show how your effect is going to be revealed. So when you're done, you change the angle the way you want. Of course, for me, I wanted to start from the hand. So you make it start from the hand. And finally, add some feather into that linear wipe. So we'll go ahead, select the two layers, right click and choose pre-compose. Now on this composition, we're going to add an effect called shatter. So we start by changing the view to render. For the pattern, we select glass to get the right texture. Next, increase the repetition to about 200. This would help you define the amount of particles. So we take the position properties and position it at both the starting clip. The radius defines the radius of that position point. So the beginning has to be small so we don't see the shutter yet. So let's change the strength to about 0.2. Let's jump to the physics. The rotation speed can be selected to the max along with the randomness. The next is viscosity. We increase it to a, around 0.2. And then we come to the gravity and decrease it to around 0.2. Gravity direction, we we'll set it to zero so that it goes upwards. So finally, we increase the gravity inclination to 50. So now we go ahead to create the animation. So we we'll create a keyframe for the position the radius, viscosity, and gravity. And move forward in time, and then change the position to go over the talent. And increase the radius, so it shatters everything. And then decrease the viscosity to zero, so the particles would move more apart. You increase the gravity to about 0.6, so the gravity goes up faster. So the next thing we need to do is add some dust to the effect. To do that, we create a new solid. Make sure it's a black solid. Then on the layer, you add 
the hard grain effect onto the black layer. Change the viewing mode to final output. So increase the intensity and the size to about 10 and then decrease the softness to about 0.02. So on the render color, we go to check monochromatic and for the animation speed, we set that one to zero because we don't want the grain moving around. So when we're done with the setting, we come here and disable the black layer. Control D to duplicate our main effect and then take it to the top of the black layer. Now what you want to do is move your timeline indicator on the first keyframe of your layer, of that first layer, because we need to change a few settings. The first thing is you change the pattern to custom. And from the custom shadow mat below, we're then going to point it to that black solid. Make sure you select effect and masks from this drop down next to it. We come down and change the extrusion depth to 0.05. So we go to physics and decrease the viscosity to 0.15. Then we increase the gravity to 0.4. We change the gravity inclination and decrease it to 40. This will help the dust fly quicker. So we'll move it, our timeline indicator to the last set of keyframes and then add the gravity to a little bit more than what we had before. And this is just going to add an extra acceleration to the motion of the fine dust. And that's basically it. That is what we need. What's happening to me? I don't feel good. So that is it for the disintegration effect. You see, it was pretty long and extensive. But yeah, that's what it takes. And we're bringing it right here on Creative Warehouse. See you guys next week. Where I'll be bringing you another video magic of VFX tutorials right here on Creative Warehouse. My name is Sammy Joe. As always, stay creative and have fun. Pshh.